Hi everybody, as I promised, I'm going to do another video on the N Tractor series and I'm going to explain the reasons why I know that would be helpful to you why you would not buy an N series tractor for your farm, garden, or estate compared to the newer tractors now today. So let's go into that. Alright, I'm going to start off with my 2N or 9N tractor here and uh, I don't care what it is. I know I have a Frankenstein tractor here. It was it has nine in and two in parts on it, but let's not get into that. Okay, so the reason why you would not buy an end tractor, I'm gonna start off that three end tractor series were made. Ford made the nine in, the two in, and the eight in. And I'm not gonna go into detail too much about those models of the of what years they were made. But I am going to show you why you would not want to buy an N series tractor. And let's go into that right now. Okay, so one of the reasons compared to the modern tractors that you see right over there is N tractors never came out with four wheel drive. You see a lot of crazy things on the internet that people have made an N series tractor by converting it to uh, their own idea of making a four-wheel drive or putting tracks on them. It's so cool to see what they did. Another, another thing that I want to point out, and it's the dangerous part about these end tractors. And it, it, it happens. It's going to happen to you. It happened to me. They are manual steering. There is no power steering on these tractors, and you have to consider that. This makes it hard for someone that don't have a lot of muscle and uh, although they do turn rather easy and they do turn rather tight i find it great that for that uh that it turns so tight such as i get into my orchard in my blueberries but this can hit a bump and if you have your thumb in here like this you're going to snap your fingers. You're going to break them. And I had that happen. I think I broke my thumb. It took months for that to heal. So be aware. Don't ever drive with your thumb inside. Like always keep your hands, as you see in my hand, keep it like this. So if that does happen, it will release. Don't put your thumb inside a steering wheel. This is a manual steering. If you hit a bump, a rock, that the whole thing is going to jackknife and it's, the steering wheel is going to go violently and it could break your fingers. So don't put your fingers in a position that you can break if that happens. It will break your finger, believe me. The other thing uh, is modern tractors now come with, uh, uh, they don't, they don't, they have uh, uh, hydraulics, which means you uh, uh, can get one a tractor with a clutch or uh, a hydraulic drive and I'll, uh, the N-series tractors, they do not have that. They only come with a clutch and a gear shift. Manual clutch. The 9N, 2N come with three speeds. The 8N comes with four speeds. The 8N is a more modern tractor of the N-series tractors. That's something to consider about. One of the other drawbacks of the N-series tractors is I want to show you something. I want to show you right now. This is a very serious thing to consider. Let's go inside my my new Holland and I want to show you something very important. They come new tractors come with a roll bar. That is a must. That can save your life. And I know because I worked with tractors almost all my life. I've been on tractors since I was five years old. <clears throat> Later on, I got a, a job with my dad in the uh, landscape maintenance design. I, I ran tractors. And after that, I worked for the county parks department with all kinds of tractors for over 40 years. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to tractors. And uh, believe me, those roll bars are, are a lifesaver. I've seen it happen where people actually flipped and they had a seatbelt on that saved their life. Yeah, it did. So these N-series tractors do not come with roll bars. So that can be dangerous to think about that. So that's another drawback if you are thinking of buying an N-tractor. 
And as I said, they don't come in four wheel drive, but they, you can get wider tires. The 8N has the bigger, wider tires like this, the, the 9N or 2N. You can get tires that are narrower like that. The other drawback to consider is none of the N series tractors have a live PTO. That's what I'm going to talk about now. Which means that in order to operate your uh, accessories that has a PTO, you have to be able to have this motor running and the PTO in gear to operate to lift your three-point hitch. So this is going to be spinning the whole time in order to operate your three-point hitch, to raise your three-point hitch. It will not work without that. The newer tractors don't have that. That's called a, uh, the newer tractors is called a live PTO. N-series tractors do not have a live PTO. They, they're not, they were made different. They didn't consider uh, that idea till later. So that's another drawback why you would not buy an N-series tractor. And that makes a big difference. Now, another safety hazard, because of that reason, <clears throat> I've heard about people, farmers, who are working back here trying to put on their accessories in the three-point uh, PTL is turned and they would actually get their arm on or pants and you could tangle on it and, and they would lose an arm or a leg because their pants would get sucked right into that. They don't even have covers on there. This is this not this wasn't considered uh, uh, back then. Imagine so that's another reason why you would not buy an n-series tractor because there are dangerous things about these n-series tractors that you are to consider another reason let's go into it yeah and it's a big reason is the power they only have 20 some horsepowers they never came out with bigger motors than that although they're very simple to work on they're not as powerful as the newer tractors nowadays where you can buy amazing amazing different powerful tractors out there this is what was available back then this was a wonderful tractor if you were able to afford it when you were a farmer back in the, that period of time if you had one of these you're you're considered a modern farmer because you had uh, an n series tractor and you did the work with it but there is some reasons why now you wouldn't buy one but that back then those those reasons that i'm explaining to you right now weren't even considered okay so now the n series tractors uh as i explained to you in the last video the the 8n has it become more modern and more safer it has the brake levers on the le on the right side this this actually i have to fix this this is the brake levers. and your clutch is on the left side the 9N and 2N do not have that, which makes it harder to handle. You have your clutch on the left side, a brake lever on the left side, and a brake lever on the right side. How can you put your brakes on when you put your clutch on? If you put your brake on on the right on the left on the right side while you're putting the clutch in, the whole tractor will slip and turn. You could possibly flip it over. That's why they put this lever on there. I don't, I don't even use the brakes on this, this end tractor. <laughs> yeah. uh, another danger thing about these tractors is the gearing. They're geared. For some reason, they are geared that you can go... I heard people say they go up to 40 miles an hour. Now, 25 miles an hour is scary enough, and I would never do that. But up to 40 miles an hour? Couldn't it do it? I, I, I heard it. That, that you can who would go that fast i don't know why they geared a tractor a tractor that can go 25 miles an hour 30 miles an hour 40 miles an hour these old tractors you i don't know how you would dare do it but yeah that's another drawback they're geared high and unless you get a tractor that has the Sherman shift like I have on this 9N here or a 2N whatever I call it. the uh, the gearing is too high you're gonna feel like you're when you're plowing you're going too fast that's 
something you're going to have to learn to feel out. And uh, that's why I like this this two end better than the, the eight end because of the Sherman shift. You can get a Sherman shift. You can find one on the eight ends. All the all the N series tractors, it's out there. I even heard about you can buy kits if you want to go that far into it. So that's another reason why you would not want to buy an N series tractor. <laughs> So, um, the N-series tractors, they're all 6-volt. You can convert them to a 12-volt. Do you want to do that? It's up to you. But, uh, it is. Now, we're going to get on this 8 amp tractor, and I want to show you something here. Let's get on this a minute. Okay, notice how I'm getting on this tractor. Notice my leg room. I don't have much leg room. I'm a, I'm a tall guy. I'm six foot four. I'm uh, very leggy. I have long legs, you know. Who, at my height, who doesn't? So there's not much room here. So I want to consider that. And once again, your manual steering is on the eight end and nine end, two end. And this is this is something to consider now. Is when you're pressing your clutch in, you have to turn on your PTO to make that work and if you don't your your uh, three-point hitch will not raise so you have to release that so if you're gonna be driving now and you have let me see where it is brush hog on there it's not gonna lift until you turn on your PTO lever and then then you can raise your three-point hitch it will not raise so when you start out on an n-series tractor now and if you're say you have a mower on it all the way you can raise that is turn the mower on and then raise your mower and then you can put it in gear and go to where you need to go I've seen people take your PTO off unhitch the PTO until you get to your spot of where you want to go and then it would hook up the PTO uh, drive shaft to PTO so that's an idea but that's another drawback it, it, is, it is it makes a difference it makes a difference so I'm in the four speed right here and uh, oh one thing one thing to have is your uh, starters down here now that that could be another drawback so uh, you're gonna be pressing that button to start your 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 n-series tractor right there see that and uh, you're gonna have to start it that way some people use their foot I use my finger uh, this tractor will not start unless you have it in neutral that's a good job that's a good thing but we're talking about bad things about these tractors so there really isn't a lot of bad things about the tractor it's mostly safety and the safety is a is a is a uh, an extreme no you need to have safety do you want to put a roll bar on these tractors i guess you could i don't know if you're handy i i don't know so moving walking over to a modern tractor let's go into my uh new holland and i'll show you some differences here now all right it's windy it's cold out i'm getting cold let's shut the door right i have a cab the n series tractors do not come with cabs although i did see accessories that they were available i uh, you try, good luck to try to find it i have a heater in my modern tractor i have all the lights all the accessories here i have cruise control and i have everything here i have all my levers on my left side here four drive ptos gear ranges i have a clutch on my left side i have my two points uh, split brake levers on my right side which means i can help control my steering when i have uh, when i'm plowing I have a bucket on my tractor right here. This is my lever, and I have my uh, uh, three-point hitch raised lever here. All at hand. It's all 
there. I even have an adjustable steering here. And, uh, uh, and, and you'll never see that in an tractor. And it's very comfortable. I mean, the only seat is getting worn out, but I have a, a nice cushy seat here. Seat belts right here, usable all the time, because I have a roll bar. Without wearing a seatbelt, you might don't wear a roll. Don't wear your seatbelt. I mean, that's my opinion. Now, don't listen to me, but you know, that's my. You have to be. You have to know that. I'm not gonna tell you that. I am have a wiper, windshield wiper. So if I'm working out before I'm on a rainy day, a cold day, I'm nice and cozy in here. The end tractors do not have that, so that's a drawback. Well, let's go back out there in the cold and wind and see if I skipped anything else to tell everybody. I'm just going to leave the door open. I, I guess I pretty much got into detail on these tractors. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's something to overlooking. So, uh, alright, so um, if you're interested in buying an end tractor, Again, there are a lot of them out there. You can get them in good shape, all restored, beautiful. Looks like you just come off the showroom. I, w I would say, I would not I would never buy an end tractor for a lot of money. I'd, I, I've actually seen people try to sell them for $5,000. So, uh, you be the judge of that. I'm not gonna tell you that's, that's too much money or not. But you can buy an end tractor that's run in shape. It looks like it's been out in the weather for a long time and it's still mechanically sound and you can just go right on it and start using it. But there uh, are drawbacks, good things and there are bad things. And I explained to you in the last video the good things about the end tractors and I explained to you in this video about the bad things about an end tractor. So that's it. I've probably got into most detail that I can think of here and well, I've been an end series tractor now owner for a while and I, I really like these tractors but there are dangerous things about them and there are things that the newer tractors can do that the end series tractors can never do and uh, they will never do so I hope these videos are helpful for you and uh, uh, and uh, research it out. There's a lot of things out there that you can look at on the internet and uh, you decide and uh, make the decision. You know, the, the end tractors are out there and they, they will be out there for a long time. There were many made and uh, uh, I even put the lights on this tractor here. It did come with lights but they were just pain in there. Okay, everybody, I like to keep this going. I don't want to make the videos too long, but uh, we'll just go around and look at the tractor now and let you see what an N series tractor looks like. This is a 9 in or 2 in. Take a look at everything here. It has an air cleaner up there. You got your, your battery compartment and the gas tank right here. They both have that. Manual steering, throttles here, choke. This one has ignition here, light switch over there, three speed, Sherman shift, three point hitch lever that raises and lowers. Your three point hitch, your PTL, your PTL angle adjuster. Your manual hand crank starter, which goes in the front of the tractor, you can get those. They do have them. All tractors, all the N series tractors, you can start by hand. Air clean, uh, oil cleaner, oil fill. Your starter, your push button starter. Do not ever disconnect that. That's very important because they have the safety feature on it. Headlights. Your gr really cool grill. Look at the Ford emblem on there. Isn't that neat? Look at this original radiator cap. Let's go to the 8 end. Oh, and I find that the 9 or 2 end with these narrow tires are really good to go in orchards and 
my blueberry farm to mow this is this is the best tractor for that i find eight end wider wheelbase yeah an old-fashioned bucket loader lift here you have your distributor on the side which the nine and two end do not have there are eight inch tractors now i want to clear it up there are eight inch tractors that have their distributor also in the front so uh, you decide what tractor you want on the eight end if you're going to buy an eight end i got the radiator cap you got this really cool neat ford emblem on here eight ends come with a really cool neat ford emblem on the fenders isn't that neat look at that four speed on the eight end manual start button here here manual steering stain throttle clutches on the left side instead of on the on the uh, uh 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 i mean it clutches only on the left side where the brakes are on the right side the uh nine end two end has a clutch on the left side but there's also a brake on the left side nice floorboards your uh your uh, uh, PTL lever is still there. It's on that side. Three-point hitch. PTL. Adjuster angle. It even comes with the, uh, the hydraulic uh, 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 hookup for uh, hydraulics to go to the rear. So that's the Ada. So, uh, air cleaner. You know, uh, my uh, raise and lower adjuster here that raises the bucket, lowers it. That's a, talk about manual, right? And uh, your groove tires that get, get grips in the dirt when you're plowing. Adjustable front and rear, and they have the adjusters you can widen them. So, there you have it. Isn't that neat? A lot of people collect the eight inch tractors because they're they're uh, are collectible and they're not a collector series because there's so many out there but they just like to to, to, to uh have an old tractor and, and uh they're fun all right bye that's it i'm gonna say bye for now and please stop by again and I hope these two videos I made are going to be helpful for you when you buy or thinking of buying an N-Series tractor. And uh, uh, don't forget, I, I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Like and share. If you have any comments, let me know. I'm sure you have a lot of things you want to ask. So ask me, I'll try to get back to you. And uh, I'm not an expert. I just want to clear that up. I'm a... a a uh, owner of an n-series tractor that's all i am and whatever i say in these videos do not hold me against it or or it's just a video i made that can help you decide if you want to buy an n-series tractor there are a lot of things out there that i probably didn't mention and you can do your research but this is to helpful or hope for you so uh, uh that's it everybody all right, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button, and stop by again. Bye.